What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Bar Fly. Today we are gonna be doing a follow-up Drink Smith episode. And I have a disclosure, a pretty important disclosure actually. So uh, like, I don't know how long ago was it, like a year or a year and a half ago or something, we did a video on Drink Smith uh, bottled cocktails. It wasn't actually on Drink Smith bottled cocktails. What we were doing was tasting a bunch of different bottled cocktails and Drink Smith was one of them. And I was very impressed with the quality of the cocktail. Uh, I was so impressed that I actually went into business with the company. So uh, Marius and I have made a, our own flavor of Drinksmith. We uh, made this apricot rye smash. Um, and uh, that's the important disclosure. This is not really a review because uh, I'm already telling you that I really like this product a lot. Um, it is pretty fantastic. And I just kind of wanted to taste through the new flavors for what it's worth. There's a lot of new stuff that came out uh, and a couple of my good friends have come out with their own flavors. Recently, I'm coming out with a second flavor and I just wanted to show you guys all the new flavors. All right, I'm gonna go one by one. This might be kind of a long episode. Um, so, I don't know. Strap it in, guys, we're getting started. First one that we're gonna do is the uh, Strawberry Mojito. Uh, it was created by Brian Clem, which is a Los Angeles bartender and is using Selvaray rum, I believe. Yes, yeah, Selvaray rum. I guess, I guess I should give you guys another little tutorial on how to actually drink this. This is a pretty ingenious invention. It is a two chamber system. So you got all your booze in one chamber, in the top chamber, and in the bottom chamber, you have anything that's gonna oxidize. The stuff that, that would oxidize or go bad is actually packed under pressure, and so it stays good. The only catch is you gotta make sure that it stays cold. So when they are, if you order them in the mail and they are delivered to you, they are delivered cold and you gotta put them in your fridge. So uh, they do take up a little fridge space, but um, it's really nice packaging and they're not that big. So I don't know. My wife is complaining because I've got tons of these in my fridge. And I really like them because it's really nice if I don't feel like making a cocktail to have one of these guys in the pinch. All right, Brian Clem, let's, let's figure it out. So to do this, you have to open this chamber and combine them. So what you do is you turn it clockwise like that, and then you shake to combine it. And then it's like you're shaking your own cocktail, which is kind of fun. I like it because it's functional, but it's also kind of a novelty to do it. Each one of these is 200 mils, so um, they are about two drinks. Some people think they're less than two drinks. Depends on how big you want your drink to be. All right, let's taste it. I'm gonna just taste it right out the bottle, guys. It's really nice, actually. You got that strawberry up front. It's a little bit boozy, and then it has this residual bitterness on the finish is really nice. You also have a lot of prominent mint, which is really nice as well. And I think they use mint infused water. Yes, they do. You got the tartness from the lime. It's not overly sweet, um, and it tastes pretty fresh. So that's pretty good. There you are, the strawberry mojito. Sorry if I'm talking fast, guys, but we gotta get through these kind of quickly, because uh, I don't want this to be a 1,000 minute video. So the next one we're doing is the smoked watermelon. It was created by uh, a bartender named Josue Romero, uh, who actually created it while he was here in LA. He moved from Florida to Los Angeles, um, and he was a really integral part of our community. Uh, he worked at a bar called Mescalero in downtown Los Angeles, uh, and was a really, he has an amazing Instagram that you can still check out, at The Garnish Guy on Instagram. And we, he passed away a few months ago. We lost him, unfortunately. Uh, he was, I just want to impress on you that he, he was such a fantastic guy. And then I got a, a little story actually about him that I wanted to share. And that is that when I was first starting the Educated Bar Flight with Marius and we were really, really small, we only had like a hundred subscribers on Instagram or something. And Marius and I were really trying hard to build the YouTube and we didn't have a lot of followers. I actually reached out to him over DM um, and he had already tens of thousands of, uh, of followers on Instagram. And usually when you do that to bigger creators, you get ignored. Even now, as, uh, as a, a little bit larger of a creator, I will sometimes reach out to creators I wanna do stuff and they ignore me, which I think is pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know why anyone would ignore you. Could, they could just absolutely say, I don't wanna work with you and that's fine. But to his credit, Josue reached back out and said, anything you need, I will happily do it with you. I will collaborate with you. I will repost your stuff. I will at you. He was just such a fantastic, such a such a, a collaborative guy, and I just I just want to kind of leave that as my tribute. I've been a little bit silent because, to tell you the truth, uh, I know him professionally. He was a regular at my bar, and he would come in uh, with our mutual friend Mike and have drinks every now and again. Sometimes I would see him at the varnish, um, but I didn't really know him on a deep personal level. We had been planning a collaboration um, before he passed, 
and uh, and and that's about the gist of it. So I've been pretty silent about it just because I didn't want to talk out of turn. Uh, anyway, be that as it may, let's taste his drink. I'm sure it's fantastic. He was a very, very, very talented bartender. All right, let's give this guy a little twist and a shake. This is my favorite part, dude. Seriously, like this brings me so much joy. Like. I don't know why I'm very used to shaking cocktails, but <laughs> the fact is that like, this makes me super, super, super happy to have to shake this. <laughs> oh man, it's the little things, Marius. That's what they say. All right, I love it because you get that nice, I don't know if you can see that, can you see that? No. Nope. You get that, I always wanna show things to the camera without spilling it all over and you can't but see it. But if you wanna show it, you have I'd to have show to put it, it in a glass. Oh yeah, but you also have to show it this way, not at like a side angle, you gotta show oh, it. Oh, like, yeah. I mean, that's not a side. I didn't think I was doing a side angle. I don't know. It's it's the, the the moment has gone, but when you shake it, you get this nice, you get that nice aeration. It aerates in here is what I'm trying to say. Oh, you know what? What's cool is that this is made with Verde Mezcal. So it is, it's a little bit spicy and it has the Mezcal right up front. You get that smoke and you get that watermelon. You get the tartness from, um, the lemon juice that's inside of it. And then it also has basil infused water, which gives it a little bit of that sort of kind of herbal sort of flavor to it. It's really fantastic. And it has very good flavors. Shall I taste my own? This is my own cocktail. Of course, I'm gonna tell you it's brilliant and amazing, but maybe I'll talk through the flavor profile with you guys. All right, let's shake it up and taste it. So this thing has rye whiskey, apricot, lemon, orgia, and then some cherry bark vanilla bitters from Bitter Cube which I like a lot, they're pretty good. Let's give it the old tasty pants, shall we? Oh, it's a work of genius. It's genius, genius, genius. Uh, <laughs> you see how I, the cocktails that I make are genius? You see that? Um, so it's cool, what's really nice about this is actually there's water, I forgot to tell you guys when we were talking about the other cocktails, but there's actually water in here, so they're like ready to drink. You don't need to dilute them at all. Which is always my thing with, with, uh, with uh, cocktails, especially like old fashions in Manhattans that are bottled. I always, if it doesn't say it, I'm like, is this diluted or not? Because I wanna know if I need to stir it or if I don't need to stir it. Uh, and I think that that should be something that whenever you're making a bottled cocktail and you're marketing it, say that there's water in it or if there isn't. Say or tell people to stir or not. And the whole point is that it's no work. You can just drink it, right? Yeah, the whole point is that it's no work and you just drink it. So it should be pre-diluted. Yeah. yeah, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, it should be pre-diluted. You should be able to just like throw it over a piece of ice and then it will actually get a little bit more diluted as you go. But it should be pre-diluted and ready to drink, especially these ones which are kept cold. So just FYI, they are pre-diluted. Uh, this one is done by Bad Birdie. It's called Hibiscus Haze. Uh, it's mezcal with hibiscus flower cinnamon lime juice, cane sugar, and mint infused water. Uh, this is something that I haven't tasted yet, but I really love Bad Birdie's drinks a lot. She is a local LA bartender. She is the global creative for uh, a bar group that has House of Machines. And I think they have one in Japan. They definitely have one in downtown Los Angeles. You should check her out on Instagram. She does fantastic photographs and really, really nice, beautiful cocktails. All right, let's uh, twist and twist and shake. Oh, I love how that, what's really nice is that this color is so deep dark purple and then this is light. And then when you twist it, it like becomes red and sort of you can see it. You can see it combine really nicely. And then you got that nice beautiful color for the actual cocktail. That's what it's gonna look like. All right. I love the addition of hibiscus as well, which is cool. Yeah, good. Ooh, that, that deserves a second sip. Yeah, I'm only taking little, little sips because I have so many to go through. Uh, it's really nice and tart. That line really comes through. You get a little bit of that residual cinnamon, which kind of gives it like almost a, shall I go here again? Savory sweet vibe kind of to it. It's really nice and bright though. And you get that mezcal. Uh, it's just very, very lightly smoky. Um, I'm not sure what mezcal they use because it just says mezcal. So maybe it's still the mezcal verde. I know that this one is called out like Mezcal Verde because they did like a partnership with Mezcal, whereas this just says rye because we did not do a partnership. Selvere Rum, they did a partnership with this as well. Oh, the one I've been, I've been, I've been waiting to taste this one, man. I've been really interested in this. So this was created by a Los Angeles bartender and bar owner, 
Uh, and also, uh, uh, he is, he is uh, famed for being on the show Vanderpump Rules. His name is Tom Sandoval. He made this peach inferno, which is vodka, jalapeno syrup, peach juice, grapefruit, and lime juice. Um, and then uh, they changed the labels a little bit to have an actual photo on it, which is kind of cool. I hope they do these for future bottles because I really kind of like it. It's pretty awesome. Not to mention that now I have my pretty visage on my next bottle, which would be pretty cool. Uh, I love that he's like blowing fire as well. That is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks, it looks, I mean, I, I, it's, this is gonna be interesting. I can just like peach, but spicy with vodka. It's gonna be all about the different flavors. It's gonna be a little bit of tart. It's gonna be a little bit bitter. Okay, I can't, can't wait to, can't wait to break into this bad boy. Let's do it. All right. Shake it up. Whoa, super jalapeno. Definitely get that grapefruit. What's really nice is it has little residual bitterness on the finish. It's nice and bright. You know, because it's vodka, it's gonna be all about those other flavors. But the, uh, I gotta say, grapefruit and jalapeno goes really well together, which is not a pairing that I would just think to myself like, bing, that's great, which I like. I love surprising pairings. This is good. Fire breathing photo makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's very jalapeno forward. There it is. So the next cocktail we're doing is the Clover Club by Claire Ward. She is a local bartender from the bar Hippo in Highland Park. And I really love these bartenders are going through all the classics. Let's give it the old twisty and the old shaky poo and give it a taste. Yeah. So for those of you guys that don't know, a Clover Club is gin raspberry syrup and lemon juice. It's pretty, pretty simple. This has got really raspberry forward. It's really nice and tart. Uh, you get the gin, you get some of those botanicals. It's, it's lovely. It's really, really good. All right, next one up is uh, a Jack Rose, another very fantastic classic. This is done by uh, Adam Fournier, who is another, uh, I mean, all of these guys are local LA bartenders. I don't know why I keep saying it. Um, uh, he is a guy that we've actually worked with in the past. Uh, he's been a regular at my bar. He's a fantastic bartender. He used to run the program at the Nomad Hotel in downtown LA when they opened it. I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know what any of the people are doing now uh, because of COVID times. Well, I know that uh, Hippo is still going, but I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on as far as COVID is concerned. So. You might um, remember Adam as the really, really tall guy from uh, one of the videos. The oh yeah, yeah, we actually the banana farmer. It's actually uh, dancer. It's act the mm -hmm. no banana. No, you're not banana farmer. Banana farmer is that other cocktail. It's called the banana dance. It's linked above. So check the check it out if you want to. Um, and you can see uh, how tall he is. How tall he is. <laughs> Uh, how wonderful he is! What a good-looking, strapping guy he is! And then also, what a great what a great bartender he is! All right, let's let's do this. Let's do it. Last one. I feel kind of sad that we're at the last. We'll have more to taste soon, so never fear. All right. Oh yeah. They did a partnership with Laird's and they they got a barrel of Laird's bonded. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's the bonded Applejack they did here. So it's Applejack, pomegranate syrup, lime juice, or they did lemon juice here. I do mine with lime. He does his with lemon. Uh, pretty fantastic. It's really nice and bright. You get that pomegranate, so it's that like kind of savory sweetness that I like to talk about. That Marius is always like, hmm, is, is that even exist? And uh, some Applejack. It's pretty fantastic. So there it is, guys. That is the new line including my own. So if you want to buy one, buy that one um, of uh, Drinksmith. Uh, you can find them. I think they ship to 32 states now. So they're pretty, they're pretty well, uh, they're pretty well available. You can check them out at their website and that is linked below. So click on it and uh, I'll see you guys on another time.